Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to connect QR codes to your WordPress websites. Now, why might you actually want to use QR codes in conjunction with your WordPress websites? Well, there are a number of reasons why you might want to do this. Firstly, if you offer web design services or you have a web design agency, you can actually use QR codes to go and show your work to your potential clients. So for example, I've just got a flyer here and this is for potential clients in the barber niche. So to go and create booking websites for potential barber clients. Now what I do is I go and create these flyers and I will leave one on the screen because it might not come in focus. And I go and post them around all of the different barber shops where I live in London, in the local areas. And basically I leave a QR code on these flyers and then the people in the barber shops and so the owners of the barber shops can go and scan that QR code and then they can go and see the website that I will make for them. So that way, like I said, you give an insight to your potential clients of the different websites that you can actually make to them. So you can go and target particular niches if you are offering web design services just by showing them your QR codes and then they can go and scan it and see the website straight away. So that's the first reason why you might want to use a QR code. Secondly, if you have your own website, especially if you're offering a service or a local service, and once again, you can go and put these QR codes on promotional material on flyers, or it could be on bags, poly mailers, and or on flyers around different areas. So you can go and do this. And this is a great way for once again, you can just say scan here. People can just go and scan the QR code with their camera and then your website opens up straight away. And this is a lot more seamless for the user. Instead of seeing your website name, having to go to their browser, type it in. If it's a long name, they might mistype it, they can't find it. Whereas if they can just go and scan the QR code, this is a lot easier for them to go and find your website right away. And then finally, once again, if you are offering web design services, is this is a service that you can go and offer to your clients. So you can say for X amount per month, we can also offer you a QR code with your website. So there are a number of different reasons why you might want to connect a QR code to your WordPress website. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do it. Need a website? Try PrendyPress. We make affordable and beautiful websites. We can build your website from scratch within four to six weeks. Wanna get your idea off the ground quickly? then why not try one of our pre-built websites? If you already own a website and it's not converting how you'd want to, try our website reviews. Or if you just have an idea that you want to discuss, then why not try our web consulting service? Head over to prendypress.com today. So in order to connect a QR code to our website, we will be using this website QR code generator. So we'll leave a link in the description to this website. Now from here, all we need to do is get the URL of the website that we want to create a QR code for. So we'll just be using this website over here. So just go and copy that and you're just gonna go and paste that in here. So now you can see a QR code has been generated. Now from here, you can go and change the frame. So you can go and have it say, scan me like this if you want to. Now some of these frames are premium. So for example, if I click on this, it's asking me to sign up. Now if we just go and have a look at the pricing, you can see over here that you can get these QR codes. So you have two QR codes for just under $6 a month. So that is fairly cheap. And like I said, if you are a web design agency, you can go and charge your clients maybe $10 a month and just keep the profit for something that literally takes about five minutes to do. So from here, like I said, you can go and change the frame. You can also go and change the color. So you can see this website, I'm using this orange color. So if I just go and copy this orange color over here and I just click on the colors and and then if I just go and paste that in there and click choose, now you can see that it has changed my QR code to that orange color. Now I can go and get rid of the scan me bit if I want to. So let's just come over here and get rid of that. And now we just have this plain orange one. And like I said, you can also go and change the shape. So you can have a square version or you can have a more round version like this. Let's see what this one looks like. So this one is just completely square. And so is this one. So now all you then need to do is just go and download it. So you would go and download that as a JPEG. Now also you can go and add a logo if you want to. So you can go and add it where it says scan me in the middle like this if you want to, but you can go and upload your very own logo. So if we go and click on upload your own, from here we can actually go and sign up for QR code generator. So click on free sign up over here. Now from here it's gonna ask you to select your industry. So I'm just gonna go for retail over here. Then you just need to go and put in your email and select a password. Now once you have selected an email and a password, you can just go and click on sign up now. 
Now from here, it's gonna ask you to check your inbox so that we can go and verify our email. So just head over to your inbox and you should see the email from QR code generator. So just go and click on activate account. So once you go and activate your account, you will be brought over to the QR code generator dashboard. Now from here, it's gonna ask you what type of QR code you want to create. So we're just gonna to want to go and create a website one over here. And then we can just go and click on next. Now from here, you once again, you will go and put your website in. So just go and copy this and we'll just go and paste this in here and we'll just click next again. Now from here, it will go and generate our QR code. So we can see over here, it's generated the QR code once again. And now from here, we can actually go and choose the premium frame. So for example, I could go and choose this one over here. Now, personally, I just prefer it without the scan me so we just got it like this. And if you want to go and download this as a PNG, you can always go and put your own text so that it matches the font that you're using on your website. Now from here, once again, you can go and change the color if you want to. So you can go and change any of the colors like this. And now from here, you can actually go and upload your logo. So I'll just click on upload and I'm just gonna go and upload this logo over here. So let's just go and see how this looks. So now you can see I've got that orange G in the middle. So that's just matching with my website over here. Now we've got the edges as well. So you can go and change these outer edges over here. So if I just go and change the outer, let's just say to this orange color again. So if we just go and paste that in there, and now we can see these outer edges. Now you can also go and change the inner edges as well. So let's just say I wanted to change this to, let's say white just like that. So now you can see like this. Now it's saying it might not be scannable and that's because you can't actually see the edges. So make sure that they are a actual color. So if we just get rid of this and it should just bring it back to black like that. So you can obviously go and muck around with it. You can also go and change the shape as well if you want to. So you can see over here, it changes the shape. So that actually looks pretty cool. Now this just is just to do with the branding. So the QR code will of course work, but it just makes it look a little bit more branded like this. So let's just go for example, let's just try this one. We're just gonna go for something like this. And then you can go and save your design. So you can save the design and then go and create a similar QR code. So with the with this package over here, you can have two QR codes. So you can go and save this design and just create another one and put your logo in and change the colors if you want to. And then from here, you've got the short code URL of your QR code. Now, all you need to do is just go and hit download. And then from here, it will go and download the PNG file for your QR code. And like I said, you can then go and start using this on your marketing material. So you can go and use this on flyers, you can go and use this on poly mailers, on bags, any type of thing that you might want to use it on to promote your websites. And you can see this is just a simple QR code PNG. So you can just go and put this in Illustrator or Photoshop or whatever you're using to create your marketing material. And that is basically it for creating the QR code. Now, I do just want to go and show you how it actually works once we scan it as well. So here is the QR code that I have just created. So I've just come with my camera and I just go and scan this now. So let's just scan this. And now once you scan it, you see a little pop-up come up. If I click on this pop-up over here, and now we should see that my website, Go Baby Sleep, has just come up. And there you go, it just comes up really easy and you can go and view your website on your mobile just like that. And like I said, this is a great way to go and demonstrate this to your clients. So you can go and show websites to your clients or if you have a website that you want to promote, using QR codes is a really great way to go and do this. So I hope you have enjoyed today's video. And if you have, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel because I've got lots of WordPress and WooCommerce related tutorials coming soon. And if there's any tutorials that you'd like me to make, just make sure you leave them in the comments down below and I can get around to making those tutorials. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next video.